the question. When we are born, is our life set out? I don't quite, quite understand the question, but I'll think that what I understand is that the person wants to know is that when we're born, is matters of faith already determined for us? We have something in Arabic called fitra. Fitra. Say that. Say fitra. Fitra. In Arabic, the word fitra means natural disposition. It means that when a child is born, that child has a natural disposition. It is already oriented to feel the warmth of the mother's body. It is already oriented to look for the nipple of the mother's breast. It is already oriented to submit. It is already oriented to depend. All of us, said the Prophet wasallam. he says that all of us were born with a natural disposition to surrender and submit ourselves towards our Creator. None of us were born rebellious to God. None of us were born rejecting God as none of us were born rejecting our parents and none of us were born rebellious to our parents. No, all of us were born in submission. But it's our environment, it's our parents, it's our education, it's our culture that made us into a idol worshiper, a people worshiper, a self worshiper, or an atheist or a communist or an animal. But our natural disposition as human beings is that we were born in submission and that we were given all the faculties of hearing, seeing, feeling, all the faculties that will allow us to become what? Dignified human beings, recognizing and worshiping our Creator. The matters of faith is simply a road map. The question here says, abortion, wouldn't it be better for the, for the mental and emotional help of the mother in cases of rape or divorce if the mother had an abortion than raise a fatherless child? Well, we, we should probably ask the murdered child whether they would have preferred to live or whether they would have preferred to be killed simply because they were the child of incest or they were the child of rape. Now that's a moral question and I'll say to you that yes it has some validity even in the Muslims there is some some concern about the raped woman. There is some concern about the child of incest. There is some concern about that. But that happens to be what we consider an exception. Only one out of every 7,000 abortions comes about because of the fact of rape or incest. The other 6,999 abortions come about by choice because people can't stand to live with the choices that they made. And since they don't want any evidence of the choices that they made, they kill it. And as long as they can't see that little fetus that's cut up into 20 little parts, as long as they can't see that little fetus that's put into this vat, this hot vat full of acid, as long as they can't see it, as long as it's thrown away, as long as they can forget about it, they just kill it and keep moving. No, we say that's unethical. And we say that sophisticated murder is still murder. And killing little people is the same as killing big people. Murder is murder. And what makes it worse is that those that are murdered are innocent. That's our position. We Muslims, we are pro-life. We make no excuse about it.